Good morning, class. Good morning. Today, we're going to work on some division. And we recognize that people learn at different paces, so we're going to try it a couple of different ways. Now, the original problem is 2,345 divided by 7. 2,345 is my dividend. The 7 is my divisor. Now, for all intents and purposes, let's just keep it simple. Can I put a big 7 into a little 2? No! The answer is no. So I'll move to the next digit in the hundreds place. Can I put 7 into 23? Yes! The answer is yes. So now, on the side of your problem, let's just draw circles until we get to the number 23. Here we go. Now, in every group, there are 7 circles. Why are there 7 circles, you ask? because our divisor is seven. So regardless of what the divisor is in a division problem, it dictates how many circles belong in that group. We have seven as the divisor here, so then we need seven circles in each group until we get to the number that we're looking for. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Circle that entire group because that's the first group. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Circle that entire group. That's 2. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Circle that entire group. 22, 23 is the remainder. Because is 22 and 23 a group? No. No. So we stop. Now, let's go back to the original problem. 2,345 divided by 7. I try to divide the 7 in the thousandth place, which is the 2. Can I put 7 into the 2,000th place? No! No. So I move to the hundreds. 7 into 23. We have three groups. Therefore, 7 can go into 23 three times. 3 times 7 is 21. And as you can see, we have two circles left, so our remainder is two. Keep everything lined up. Can I divide seven into two? Can I divide a big seven into a small two? No! No. So I need help from the tens place. I bring my four down. Now my new whole number is 24. Can I divide seven into 24? Yes! Yes. So now we start a new group. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. First group. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Second group. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Third group. 22, 23, 24. That's not enough for a group. So that is our remainder. Now let's go back to the original problem. Can seven go into 24? Yes! The answer is yes. Three times because we have three groups. In my quotient, three times seven is 21. One from four is three. My remainder is three. And I do it all over again. Can I divide a big seven into a little three? No! The answer is no. I go to the ones place for help. Take my five, drop it down. Seven divided by 35. Let's do it all over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. First group. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Second group. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Third group. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Fourth group. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Fifth group. So now we have five groups of seven. So seven goes into 35 or is divisible by 35 five times. Five times seven is 35. No remainder. So my quotient is 335. Great job. 
The second way we can do it is we can estimate. So by memorizing our multiplication facts, you will be able to visualize and estimate. So when we visualize, estimate the closest number without going over. The original problem is 2,345 divided by seven. Now, the 2,345 is my dividend. The seven is my divisor. My answer or quotient goes at the top and what's left over or the remainder goes at the bottom. Now, what I would like for you to do is draw out all your facts for seven. Seven times one is seven. Seven times two is 14. Seven times three is 21. Seven times four is 28. Seven times five is 35. Seven times six is 42. Seven times seven is 49. Seven times eight is 56. And seven times nine is 63. Now make sure you write these vertically and you space them out. Keep everything extra crispy. Now, Go back to the beginning. Can I divide seven, a big seven, into the 2000s place? No! The answer is no. You can place a zero there just to hold your place. Seven divided by 23. Seven times three is? Now, look at the seven times one. Should I stop or keep going? Keep going! Keep going, very good. It's 14 closest to 23 without going over. Should I stop or keep going? Keep going! Keep going, very good. Seven times three is 21. Is 21 closest to 23 without going over? Yes. Yes. So we circle that number. We transfer that three over into the hundreds place. And now we can multiply. Three times seven is 21. One minus three is two. Do it over again. Can I divide seven into two? No. The answer is no. I need help from the tens place. I bring the 10 down. Now we do the cycle over. Can I divide 7 into 24? Yes! The answer is yes. We already know that 7 times 3 is 21, so we can use that number again. 3 times 7 is 21. 1 minus 4 is 3, and we do the cycle over. 7 into 3, I cannot do. I need help. I go to the 1's column. I bring down my 5. 7 divided by 35. Let's look at our chart. 7 times 5 is 35. 5 times 7 is 35. 35 minus 35 is 0. Explain what you did. I tried to divide 7 into the 2, but it was too big. So I tried to divide the 7 into 23, and it went 3 times, and I had 2 left over. 7 can't be divided into 2, so I brought down my 4. Now 7 can go into 24 3 times, and 3 times 7 is 21. Next, I subtracted 21 from 24 to get 3. 7 was too big to go into 3, so I bring down my 5. 7 can go into 35 um, 5 times. So 5 times 7 is 35. And 35 minus 35 is 0. Great job. Now here's the bonus. How do you check the division? Define the words divisor, dividend, quotient, and remainder. Pause the video. Great job. So check the problem by multiplying the quotient times the divisor plus the remainder, and that's the formula. So my quotient is 335 times the divisor, which is 7, which gave me a dividend of 2,345. Excellent job. Try this one on your own. 3,847 divided by 6, and remember... Write out all of your factors. 6 times 1, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, 6 times 4, 6 times 5, 6 times 6, 6 times 7, 6 times 8, 6 times 9. I would like for you to try this problem both ways that we reviewed. The last problem is 3,102 divided by 4. Excellent job. 